<laughs> Ryan, we've got a new Bank of America survey, and it finds that Bitcoin is the second most crowded trade right now. Um, it, it comes as crypto is now hovering around $60,000. It was at a record high. Bitcoin was last week. But the regulatory concerns I'm hearing more and more about, Senator Ted Cruz this weekend told me that there is a provision in this upcoming uh, Build Back Better plan that uh, regulates crypto to the extent that anybody holding crypto will get hurt. He's trying to take this out with an amendment of his own. But your thoughts on the regulatory backdrop and, and, and also China perhaps uh, dragging on Bitcoin as well with its own regulatory framework. What does this mean for crypto? Yeah, I think it's all coming. I think this is, you can kind of see the writing on the wall, right? I mean, if the brokerage firms that actually uh, are the ones actually, you know, essentially trading the Bitcoin and they have to start to tell you what the transactions are to the government, report that to the government, and then some of these crypto participants actually have to start paying capital gains, um, I think that's just the beginning of the end, right? You have more regulation in China, obviously, they're doing a big job to crack down on this mining. Um, they're looking to put more punitive energy prices on companies that are doing Bitcoin mining. So I, I think at the end of the day, as the money gets bigger and bigger, and now we're you know, just under $3 trillion, which is just remarkable. It's an insane number. Uh, how many people are participating in this market now? I think invariably that's what happens, right? The money gets too big. The government comes in, starts to regulate. So a lot of this easy money that's been made, uh, that's going to start to go away. And it just fits into my thesis again. I mean, look, I, there's still no commercial use for Bitcoin, right? It's very, very small. Um, again, it, it uses so much energy. This just seems like the mother of all bubbles. Um, and I think it'll be a cold day in hell before Dennis Gartman buys any Tesla or buys any Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, if he does, then you know the, the world's going to end. But other than that, um, I think it just speaks to down the line here. This bubble is going to burst. Regulation is going to be a big part of that. And uh, I'd still be very, very wary of Bitcoin, even if it goes up higher here in the short term. At the end of the day, you know, look at all those tech companies back in late 99, 2000 that became worthless. I think you have the same dynamic going on right now, mm. Maria.